Hey, in this video, we're going to check out Plan, which is a project platform that ties Calendar, Email, Gyro, Zendex, Salesforce, and GitHub together, and probably more stuff coming. So stay tuned for this video. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. I'm going to take a look at this product called Plan, getplan.co. I'm not sure how I came to find this particular product, but I will say I love their website. I love these little images they got here. So it caught my eye and it appears it's a project management platform. And I think the key differentiator looks like they have a very nice interface, but they have two way bi-directional integration between calendar, email, and a couple of specific integration partners, uh, Jira, Zendesk, Salesforce, GitHub. So I think this is geared very much so to development organizations. Um, you know, you can even see here on their image, they talk about sprints from an agile development methodology, but it could be useful in other areas as well. I think they're going to kind of compete against the Asanas and the Trellos and the Plutios and, and, and some of those that just focus on project management. Some of those products I named do a little bit more than project management, but very nice website and very affordable, uh, free, which, you know, I love. Uh, so one to two users free forever and basic integration. So that tells me that they probably have some premium integrations. We'll see when we get inside the platform. And then once you get over, uh, two users, three plus nine bucks a month. And, you know, it looks like they're, they got some big name customers, which is pretty interesting. So let's actually sign up and see what happens. I've, I've never used this platform before. We'll see what their onboarding process is like and how intuitive it is once we get in. Now, one thing I noticed, I clicked that sign up button before and I noticed that it took me right into my Google authentication. Uh, so I went ahead and logged into my Tech Smart Boss email before I started this video. I knew it was gonna do that. That's pretty, pretty interesting that it's going to link so tightly with Google and actually do the onboarding and the sign up process like that. Um, so could be nice. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and give them the permissions. They're basically going to get access to my email and my calendar, which makes sense because that's what they do the bi-directional sync with. Let's go ahead and allow those permissions and see where it takes us next in the onboarding. Um, they want my location which is an interesting thing. I'm going to go ahead and allow it. I mean, those things are easy to turn off. Uh, you'll see I'm using Firefox as my browser. And now I'm I'm on board here. Let's see. So it says, get ready to organize your life. That's nice. Let's go ahead and say, get started. So it's going to walk me through. List, that's sort of the starting point in this product from what I've read. So uh, let's go ahead and press the plus. So I'm going to call this just my virtual assistant task, if I could type properly, and I still didn't type properly. All right, and let's create that list. All right, so I've got a list. So now within this list, I can create tasks, which are things that I want that particular person to do. So let's, uh, so now what I notice is they've got sort of a little, little natural language thing in terms of setting up appointments. And I'm going to say, um, send out monthly email next Tuesday. Let's give it a little test and see how fancy their linguistics are. And okay, plan a time. You should be able to do more with a task and just give it a due date. Plan time to work on by dragging it to the calendar. So let's say tomorrow I want to work on this particular task. Let's see how that dragging process works at 1 p.m ready to go it says so that gave us a little bit of an indication looks like i can still okay i can click and expand so i think the concept of their list is i can add multiple levels of projects so let's just call this project one and add that and let's add a project two so these are kind of like your dividers i could probably drag and drop this i'm going to guess yes yeah, so oh, actually can i Let's see. Yep. So I, it's very drag and drop oriented. So it's very intuitive from that perspective. It did not see my next Tuesday. So let's go ahead and put a due date on that. And it looks like I could do an overall project due date. Let's do that. And then 
just like any other project management tool, it looks like I can, you know, add task and 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 let's add a task here and try something else. Um, you know, set up a new funnel. And then I could probably associate it with a project in here. Yep, actually, looks like I do have to drag and drop it. Let's put this one also up here. And I can drag and drop when I want to work on it. And that's syncing up with my Google Calendar. So that was a pretty easy, that's, that's one of the nice things about getting Google set up ahead of time. I can set a, a date here. Let's expand this and add in some steps. Looks like I can get a copy this link task, go full screen on this. What can I do here? Probably track some time. Well, just seeing the timestamp history, the progress. So pretty interesting interface here. But you can kind of see you can have as many of these lists as you want. Start to build in various tasks for those. And somewhere in here, you're supposed to be able to assign them to your teammates. And I haven't added any teammates here, so that would make sense. But I can look at my calendar really quickly. I can see the things I've got coming up. So now let's get to where the integrations and the uh, team. Oh, here's a little dashboard view. Yep, so you can see no people, no activities, no places. That must be where they asked me for location. They're going to track maybe some of where I'm doing this work. I'm going to go into my integrate. Well, let's create a team. And let's call it TechSmartBoss. TechSmartBoss.com. I'm assuming they're looking for a web domain. Ah, okay. So here is where I can invite other team members and start to assign things for them, put a logo, do all sorts of stuff within there. So that is nice. Let's take a look at integrations. So this is where, per their website, okay, now they did say that on their website, these say coming soon. I can connect GitHub today. So from a developer perspective, this is, you know, this is early. I probably came across this product a little bit earlier than they uh, are ready, but um, it looks really nice in terms of the direction uh, that they are headed. And for free, one to two users, this is where you, you call yourself an early adopter and you get into something early and you get grandfathered into a nice plan moving forward with some discounts. I can sync my tasks to my calendar. I can do push notifications. I'm not going to integrate with GitHub. I actually have a GitHub account. I'm not going to go through that process. Set my week start. Okay, my international different formats and dates and things like that. Default estimated time and the default list. So pretty simple basic stuff. Let's go back here to a calendar view and let's click back here and there's my team and now I've got like a team mailbox where I've got some stuff here too. Let's actually go back into my uh, one of these tasks and I was looking to see if there was some way to associate a team within here but I'm not seeing that right off the bat uh, but I'm sure there's probably some way to do that but I haven't invited any team members so I really only have a team in name only at this point well anyhow just a really quick I mean like I said I saw this product I love their website they have a pretty interesting concept on bi-directional sync between those developer tools that we saw under integrations so if you use these tools and you are looking for a new project management app that is very simple, elegant, nice style sheet, looks well, then check out getplan.co. Definitely you can be one of the early adopters and give them some feedback and probably really help them with their roadmap and what, their, um, what, what problem they're solving from a customer perspective if you fit into that developer project management role. Hey, if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Every week we release a new one, so subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also go out to our Facebook page and subscribe there. We're doing some fun stuff there. And check out TechSmartBoss.com for everything else that we have going on. Hey, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.